Steve Klein uh, has been coaching with PA Classics since the academy started five years ago. And I think like many coaches uh, in the academy, it's given him a real uh, place, a real opportunity to grow and develop as a coach. Uh, this year is PA Classics second year in a row at finals week under Steve's guidance and I think it's a really nice reward uh, for doing a lot of things right. I think uh, a lot of times we recognize that the Development Academy is a really good place to identify and evaluate potential youth national team players but Steve's an example of how the Academy's helped us to also identify who are the up-and-coming coaches, who are the top coaches within the Academy system um, and as we've gotten to know Steve over the last five years uh, we wanted to bring him in to help with our youth national teams where he works currently as an assistant for our U15 boys national team. I started a club with a few other guys in 2001 called Gunners FC and then uh, we merged it with another club in probably 2004 and that's when it turned into PA Classic. So, uh, uh, so I've been involved from the beginning in some form or fashion and uh, I retired playing in, for the Vancouver Whitecaps in 2007 but prior to that for six years I had been going six months away playing and six months back in Pennsylvania running a club. We were a pretty young club. I think we, were, we had only been in existence for maybe two years uh, before we got invited to the academy. and. Um, Back then, it was a big decision to jump in because you're not doing state cups, and so there's a lot of worry about, you know, are kids going to quit because you don't get to do state cups anymore? And we're like, no, nah, we're going for it. It's the best league. Let's do it. Let's jump in. And so we were a little nervous about it, I think, as most clubs were. And um, but we had good seasons our first year, and then that just helped attract more players and more confidence that uh, it's the right place to be. So um, I think each year you just get better as, as a coach as well, and you just learn a little bit more every year, just still learning, watching other teams play and how their coaches do things. So it's a learning process all the way through. We don't have the numbers at other, other MLS clubs or just other clubs for that matter. Um, you know, typically maybe for our academy teams, 50, 60 kids at the most try out, and most of them are from within our club. So I can tell you how our academy team will be in three or four years, because what we have at younger ages is what we'll have, which is good, because we have loyal kids. You know, they've been in our system for a long time, so you know, they know what to expect, and we get to mold them as how we want. By 13 or 14, pretty much those kids will be what we have at the 16s and 18s. I mean, I think next year our U18 team won't have any new players from outside of the club. You just don't add new players. That's our group, you know? and. Um, and it works that way with the two academy teams and me coaching both of them. They just know what to expect all the way through and um, so there's a lot of continuity to it. So that's the plus side of it. There's a lot of good young talented players in the area because there's been professional soccer in central Pennsylvania with the Hershey Wildcats. There was indoor teams so a lot of professional players stuck around the area and have been developing players. You know, So you wouldn't think Lancaster PA but there's a lot of good coaches there in other clubs as well that have kind of helped the talent pool in the area. As a coach, Steve is really dedicated and professional. Uh, he's a really good teacher and has a great feel for the game. Yeah, I think the work D Steve does at PA Classics is a great example because his approach is very player-centered and he's an outstanding role model for young players. As we've gotten to know Steve uh, through his time coaching in the Development Academy, we decided to bring him in uh, and work as an assistant coach with our U15 boys national team and he's uh, served in that role throughout this 1997 cycle this year. So for me, the attitude and character quite good, right? Started getting a lot of mouthy and whatnot out there. Just kept your, kept your composure, right? Joe, that's why I'm getting on you a little bit sometimes. Don't whine for stuff, right? We don't want to do that, right? We want to play, all right? And things work out for teams to just play. Whether you win or lose, there's a time for competitiveness, like at the playoffs, you know, yeah, you're trying to win a little bit more than maybe other times. But if you keep things in perspective and just teaching the kids how to play, they'll get better, they'll figure things out, and they'll grow as people too. I mean, I think at the end of the day, that's still the most important thing for these kids is, is good character, and that actually carries them through the games as well, you know? And I think, you know, you can't lose sight of that, that you can teach on the field, but you gotta have discipline and responsibility with the, with the players, and, um, and that's been a big successful uh, factor for us as well. And that's a credit to the families in the club. I mean, they're all good kids, good families, and it makes things a lot easier. Just as soon as we're here right now, I could go another 10 years before we get this far again. So you never know, and I think that's what you gotta always keep in the back of your mind, that if that's your ultimate goal is to make playoffs every year, you may be missing the point. If your ultimate goal is making the players better all the time, 
you know, then you'll be you'll be happy no matter you know how things go. It's about the style of play, how the kids play, how they interact, and I think if you keep that mindset, then they will achieve and they will they will win their share of games. And um, that's what's happening right now. But by no means does mean we'll be we'll be back next year or the year after. You know, so you never know.